Hello guys and welcome back. So yesterday I worked on Jake Long. Got roasted by Bill Yu because I don't know how to use the characters I level up. Um, Tammy says he loves my videos. Biter says Clawhauser. Yeah, I actually generally do think Clawhauser's OP. Um, we've got Joanna Pova who's come back to the game. My personal mod build for Jake is two purples, one speed and one reality, which is good. Um, I accidentally insulted Wick. <laughs> uh, dear. But yeah. So that's all going good. And I've had a few people tell me I need to work on Donald Duck. So I wanted to look at Jake Long's mods today. And I wanted to take Wiki's... Well, I wanted... Ooh, oh, 33 quid, 20 billion gold. That's ridiculous. I was hoping that would be a four pound one. Because I quite like it when they do the little four pound deals with if they're like the exclusive ones. But yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a letdown there. However, we do have the cheeky pot of gold crate back. So I'm just going to trigger this to get as much money as possible as you guys know this is my go-to you can't go wrong with this crate honestly there we go okay so i've done that that's honestly my best base of diamonds i've got 339 million back up and we do have a couple of things to go over in today's video so it is friday which means i like to review the contest coming out but i do have some very bad news so I'm going to just sort of brush over it before I do Jake Long's mods, and it's not a um, exciting one. I'll tell you that now, guys. We have been diddled a little bit. So the legendary guild shout out in every video I will do now. Okay, so the contest is a Fortify Network one. You guys know how it works. I don't need to tell you, but uh, you you can get some good ones down here if you use the characters. I like the addition, which means you can actually get some stuff for free. Um, but yeah, so the rewards are bog standard. They're not really that great. None of these never scale. I think these rewards need to scale with your level, to be honest with you. But yeah, so we've got a contest. It's okay. Now, let's come on here and look at Jake Long and see what I can do with some of these cheeky mod builds. So, Wick. I'm using Wick, for example, um, because he's such a, he's a bit of a don. And I want to see how he's going to build the character up and why he said i want to break down why he suggested using this mod build obviously jake long is one of the higher characters at the moment well he's probably one of the most overpowered tanks you saw uh me doing some pvp yesterday and get destroyed so let's jump in and break down why he's so good basically so i'm going to remove his mods here and then we're going to take a little look and see what we can do with leveling up some mods so our boy Wick says two purples for mo for Jake, one speed. So when he says purples, that means he's upgraded the skill mods to be purple. So that's enhancing his purple skill. Each time Jake inflicts enemy over time, he gains basic damage. So that is a huge buff. So basically, most of his moves do cause overtime damage. So basically, after every attack, he's going to be buffed. So that's a very good one. Then he's doing reality. And speed, obviously speed to speed him up in reality to get his defense and health and attack and I think going a bit better. So I don't see, I think that's a very good idea. So let's do that. So he's a red team character. So obviously when it comes to the mods, you do the special technique where you find your character you don't use often. You've got a load of shards for. And then you basically just burn them all. So I've got 900 here. Um, I need to get into purple actually. Just get my first character's purple. Kevin has got 1,000. 500 shards that's not right i need to level him up really so i can actually use him i think i only need to get him to purple four there we go uh, there we go. i'll just do that okay so that just unlocks all his mod slots because i'm lazy and can't go off to keep going back and forth but there we go okay so now we've got if we've got three three will do so let's do the two purple mods Oh, I don't actually have any um, spare skill mods at the moment. So let's put on his speed and reality mod. So you can obviously see in here which one. So that's going to need to be equipped on like that. So we can put the speed one on. And then the reality uh, mod would be... Oh, so we've got the um, attack speed actually. So if we upgrade that one, we're going to do reality. And then we're going to do the speed just to pop those ones on. So we've got those two there. And we're going to um, advance these. I normally only ever go to like plus four guys where you can get it to level 50. Because to be honest with you, I don't have the materials to, um, to like that. 
and get to level 50. So that's good there. Now I need a couple of skill mods. I wonder if there's some red characters at the moment who are hogging all the skill mods. Yes, there's quite a few to be honest. See who's got a few on. Um, I told you I might just steal them off. Oh, there's one there. I can advance that one a uh, and equip that one. Lovely. I'm just thinking here to be honest with you. Oh, the characters I don't really use anymore. Look at Winnie the Pooh's build. That's just not right. <laughs> oh, I remember I used to love Winnie the Pooh in this game. Okay, so I'm going to take one off of it. Um, oh, no, here we go. Unequipped. Unequipped. Lovely. So that's given me two more there. So now let's go back to our boy Kevin and drop those mods on. So equipped. Uh, advance that to plus four. Level 50. Great. Unequipped. 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 And then we can just stick that one on there. And advance that one to plus four as well. Level 50 being the max. Okay, brilliant. So now I can get those onto Jake. I've got 100 uh, skill. I've got 100 left over so I can bring them over onto him. So now we're going to go onto plus three. Lovely. Show. Plus three. Lovely. Show. And then we're going to go into here and get the final ones. I've always got to make sure the same mods are in the same row or it really annoys me. Okay, there we go. So now that's done all of that. So I normally just like to get them to level 30 and then I'm happy. So let's get all these level 30 guys like that. And then I'm happy where we are. Level 30. And then this one goes to level 30 as well. So there we go. And then I'm going to um, upgrade this one with a purple mod like that. Upgrade this one with a purple mod like that. Upgrade this one with attack speed and upgrade this one with reality. So now we've got a very solid mod build. Putting his purple skill up to plus 20. Look at that stupid amount of basic damage that we are getting there. Like that is actually ridiculous buff of the basic damage. So that's very good indeed. And of course we're getting some attack speed. So let's just max him out here as red skill as well. So let's put him up to a pretty good level. We are working on Melina's disc as we talk i do need to actually go through the campaign here um i think i lost it actually let's see what we can do now i've um i've actually sort of maxed jake long's oh goodness the the burn damage is like instant now look at that drain comes in breeze puts up his attack damage oh my god everyone gets devoured like that's mad can i quick fight us now Yes. Ooh, okay. He just... I love he just waves at them and they die in, like, pure fear. Okay, yeah, that mod build was, was naughty. That was a naughty mod build. So Jake Long has got his friendship disc here. There we go. I just wanted to get that equipped on. And then I can level it up to a stupid level as well. 305. Look at the armor buff. That's absolutely ridiculous. So I wonder now with that armor buff, can I go back in and try and fight that team that destroyed me yesterday? This one here. So if they're using Baymax, but I can't use Baymax. So now I can do armor buff, armor buff, heal, heal, damage. So I'm getting a double armor buff here from Shank and Jake Long that got upgraded. Oh, I mean, Jake Long survived, but he's not... Look at the buffs on the enemy team. But you can see here how long Jake Long's surviving for. It's not right. I mean, that is ridiculous, isn't it? As a tank, as a whole, I don't know. Um, obviously, this guy's got a very good link up here because look at how much. Why is Baymax healing that much? That is not right. But again, now you can see how Jake Long is just standing there and accepting everything. It's pretty ridiculous. So I'm going to knock off. I'm going to change my tactics here and just go... I'm going to just stick a load of tanks in who I think can actually survive. There we go. Ooh, so Pocahontas did actually allow the team to stay alive a bit longer. But then we're getting hit with the endless loop now. So it, it, to be honest with you, if I had someone who did Hex, 
that I probably would be able to take advantage of that. But yeah, I just wanted to upgrade Jake today. Um, oh, I wonder if the guild battle's open, actually. Should we have a look? Guild War. Battle phase. Oh my god. They've been destroyed. Um, well, the three cards we need to fight have been destroyed. I'm going to go and just... Where's the next hardest team? Ah. <laughs> there isn't one. Okay. I mean, it's still a win, guys. So, you know. I'm just going to fight this team. Do I feel bad about this? Nah. Ooh, that means I can use Jake Long on my, um, as my final tank on that team, which I was struggling with a tank for on the Colosseum as well. But there we go, guys. I hope you've all had a brilliant week. And I'll see you legends.